Hi everyone, I'm thrilled to have you back on our channel. In this episode, I feel called to impart a prophetic message, a divine revelation that I truly believe will resonate deeply with many of you and cast illuminating light on God's ongoing work in your life. Before we delve into today's insights, do me a favor, will you, please? Like this video if you find the message resonates with you and share it with someone you believe could benefit from hearing these words. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, keeping you abreast of all the uplifting prophetic messages, prophecies, teachings that we share on this channel. Your support means the world to us and it helps us continue spreading God's wisdom. Today's revelation came to me during an introspective period away from my daily routine. Envision this, I took a brief leave, a small hiatus spanning two to three days from the unceasing rhythms of existence. My selected retreat, a stone's throw away from my home, maybe a hundred miles or around 160 kilometers, a decent expedition, I'm sure you'll agree. It was on my return journey, whilst traversing a considerable distance, in the solitude that a profound revelation decided to make its presence known in my consciousness. Imagine being caught in an extended moment of transition, feeling somewhat adrift in the current of life, no longer anchored to where you once were but not quite having arrived at where God intends you to be. This feeling materialized as I drove through endless miles of road, contemplating the paths we take in life. This sensation of being stuck in transition is something that many of you might be grappling with. Consider your personal journey, your spiritual voyage through life. You are not where you were, your familiar moorings have shifted, and the place God initially planted you no longer feels like home. But you're also not quite at the destination God has in mind for you, the divine blueprint of your future that He holds. Consequently, you feel somewhere in between, not here, not there, and this in-between state may have been your reality for a considerable time. Like a long, winding road trip, it feels as though you've been on the road forever. Amid this contemplative journey, God started to whisper into my spirit, nudging me to address this sense of feeling stuck in transition among His children. So, picture me right now, in the midst of this 160-kilometer journey, the landscape rushing past me, my thoughts attuned to God's voice. The Lord, in His divine wisdom, chose this setting to resonate with my heart, casting light on the experience of His people, feeling adrift in the shifting currents of life's transitions. His voice within me resonated with understanding and compassion for those of you feeling stuck, and I am here to share His divine perspective on this transitional period in your lives. In the heart of your existential uncertainty, you find yourself nestled, swallowed by a void that seems devoid of familiarity and certainty. The path before you appears convoluted, winding and weaving into obscurity, while the path behind you, the one laid by God, is gradually fading into a haze of bygone existence. It is within this grey interlude, this domain of in-betweens, you feel yourself to be an outlier, an outcast, unable to truly belong anywhere. This feeling is disconcerting, unsettling. It's as though you've stumbled into the metaphoric wilderness of existence. There you stand, in the heart of the wilderness, amidst the unsettling quiet and solitude. But fear not, for in this wilderness, in this alien terrain, God designs the purpose of your path, the path that leads you out and onwards. He understands your longing for a sense of direction, of belonging, and it is He who imbues transitions with meaningful intention. Transitions, as you're experiencing, are not merely passageways between two stages of existence. They are important epochs of growth, spaces for self-discovery and transformation. Transitions, much like a chrysalis for a burgeoning butterfly, can stretch over varying timeframes. Some transitions span a few fleeting months, while others stretch across years, like a horizon seemingly boundless. Yet, remember, in this transitioning phase you currently reside, God's divine plan is taking form. Think of your transition as a divine training ground, where God tirelessly works on refining you, molding you, and preparing you for the forthcoming assignment. 
It is in these times that Hebrews 5.14 reverberates in my mind, a verse that talks about the nurturing and honing of our spiritual faculties. Just as a potter molds the clay to create a beautiful pot, God shapes you during this phase. Your transition stage serves as a spiritual incubator, a place for your growth and maturation. Often I would argue that the process of transition, the journey itself, holds a significance that overshadows the destination. For if you bypass the transition, skip the spiritual conditioning, or overlook the honing of your worldly and spiritual senses, the next assignment God has for you may appear a mountain too steep to climb. You must undergo this spiritual refining, this divine conditioning within your wilderness, to ready yourself for God's forthcoming plans. The duration of a transition can be as variable as the waves of the sea, predictable to God alone. But He, the divine orchestrator, comprehends your spiritual needs, your capacity for growth, and your readiness for the journey ahead. Permit Him to complete the work He began in you. This transition may often feel akin to a Holy Spirit boot camp, a sacred training process wherein the Holy Spirit is your guide, your mentor, your spiritual personal trainer. Often during these transition periods, you may perceive an enveloping loneliness, a sense of solitary confinement. However, this loneliness is but a mirage, a spiritual illusion, for in these moments of isolation, God's presence surrounds you, envelops you, guides you. This is your divine boot camp, your sacred rite of passage, your spiritual cocoon. Embrace it, for through it, you will emerge stronger, wiser, and ready for the divine tasks ahead. Reflect for a moment and truly understand that it is no coincidence when you feel as if you are standing alone, separated from the familiar, in a cocoon of solitude and quiet. This is God's divine orchestration at play. He has deliberately set you apart for a season with an inherent reason. As you navigate this uncharted territory of isolation, you must realize it is within this solitude, this transformative chrysalis, where His work in you is profound. You might perceive this isolation as a vast wilderness, stretching endlessly before you. However, it is in this very wilderness, this transitional phase, that God manifests His remarkable craftsmanship. His attention is undiluted, solely devoted to molding you, crafting your character, and refining your spirit, absent of the cacophonous clamor of the external world. There are no competing influences, no disruptive relationships or communities to interfere with this sacred process. Reflecting on my own journey of faith, I recognize a rhythmic pattern of divine guidance. I've traversed diverse stages, fulfilling varying roles, and each shift has been guided by the Lord's unseen hand. With every transition, there was an incumbent time of preparation, a pivotal training phase that equipped me for my next divine assignment. This brings me to a vital piece of wisdom I wish to impart. Resist the urge to accelerate the transitional phase. You might feel ready, eager to break forth, to leap into the next chapter. But remember, it is God who dictates the rhythm of your journey. His wisdom surpasses our understanding, and His timing, His divine metronome, ticks with unerring precision. He is aware of the exact resources you need to thrive in your forthcoming place of influence and responsibility. Embrace the reality that each season of transition is divinely timed, perfectly designed to align with God's unique blueprint for your life. Trust in His wisdom and immerse yourself in this season, as challenging as it might be. Draw strength and encouragement from this thought. Moreover, cherish those few companions God has permitted to walk with you during this time of transition. This circle may seem small, but it's precious and has been divinely selected. Amidst the sweeping changes, certain individuals have been removed from your journey while others have remained steadfast. Appreciate them, for their presence in this delicate phase is part of your spiritual maturation, a testament to your growth under the Lord's tutelage. This transitional period, the wilderness phase, is a delicate yet vital stage in your journey towards spiritual enlightenment. Commit wholeheartedly to this phase and resist the temptation to rush through it. The lessons learned here, 
the strength garnered, are invaluable components of your spiritual journey. Finally, to those who identify with this message, those who feel God's hand ushering them through a lengthy, seemingly unending transition, I would like to extend a heartfelt prayer. It's perfectly normal to feel weary or frustrated as the wilderness stretches on. But rest assured, your journey is under divine supervision and every moment is purposeful, part of God's grand plan for you. I pray that the divine grace of our Lord soothes your weary spirit, girding you with strength and fortitude as you navigate this transition. I pray that you remain secure in His love, anchored in His promise, even amidst the shifting sands of this wilderness phase. May your faith remain unshaken as He carries you through the convoluted paths towards the divine blueprint He holds for you. Remember, God's love for you is relentless and unwavering. He sees your struggles, feels your despair, and assures you that this transitional phase is essential for your spiritual evolution. His hand is always extended, ready to hold you, to comfort you through the changing times, the good and the challenging. Consider the wisdom encapsulated in Isaiah 43, 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This verse powerfully reflects God's heart for His children amidst their transitions. In the wilderness, we learn to rely not on our understanding, but on the divine wisdom that undergirds everything. This transition, however uncomfortable it may be, is not a place of punishment, but of profound purpose. It's a place of preparation for the divine assignments God has tailored specifically for you. God is not just a passive observer during your transition, but an active participant, guiding, supporting, and strengthening you. There is a divine significance to each step we take, each path we tread, and each change we endure. Hold on to the faith, continue your journey, and remember that every step you take, every challenge you face, and every change you undergo is under God's divine guidance. And in His time, He will lead you out of the wilderness and into the divine destiny He has planned for you. You are on a divine journey, one that is uniquely designed for you by our loving God. Be patient, be resilient, and trust in His divine plan. Amen. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.